If you think that I'm still holding on to something, you should go and love yourself. Now am I wrong? You told me the world would be enough. Oh, oh, oh. I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let my soul. Everybody, Reverend Stu Miles, the pastor of Disaster here, and I was thinking today about some some things, and I just wanted to share it with you. Today is Martin Luther King Day in honor of Martin Luther King Jr., who was just an amazing man who really did a lot of things for our country, and our country would be in a lot worse shape today if it weren't for him paving the way for us to begin this talk of equality and begin this talk of all of us just getting along and loving each other and really what it comes down to is he had a dream he had a dream inside of him and nothing could stop that dream if he was thrown in prison he wasn't stopped if he was beaten up he wasn't stopped and the only thing that stopped him was his death but with every breath with every move with everything that he did he lived out this dream and he let everyone know what his dream was and even when people said it was crazy even when people said there is no way you'll ever be able to achieve this and there's no way that you one man could ever make a difference he led rallies and he led people and he led so many different things that allowed him to share his dream and what I know today is that God put that dream inside of Martin Luther King and God has put a dream inside of you I know in my life there have been some dreams that have seemed absolutely insane. I was a little boy playing with wrestling action figures and never ever dreamed that I would get to set foot in a ring. And In a couple weeks I get to fight for the same tag titles that wrestling superstars like Shawn Michaels have held. Who would have ever thought that this little boy with a dream would ever be able to achieve even one step towards that dream? But there's a bigger dream inside of me, you know, it's not just a dream about being a wrestler. I have this dream that one day everyone will know that there's hope. And because of what Jesus did on the cross, we can know that that hope is ours and we don't have to do anything for it, but we can just let his love win the battles for us. And we can just know that he is taking care of us. And because of what he has done, it's already achieved. And I want everyone to know what that is. That's my dream. And so that's why this year I'm traveling all over the country sharing this message that what Jesus has done has already won the fight for you. But what is the dream that's inside of you? What does God put inside of you? Maybe it is that you want to be a professional wrestler. Or maybe it's that you just want everybody to get along. Or maybe it's that you want every kid to know how to read. Or maybe it's that world hunger wouldn't exist anymore. Maybe, maybe your dream doesn't seem so lofty. Maybe it's that you want everybody in America to be able to own an iPhone or whatever it might be. But whatever that dream is, don't let anybody stop it. Know that if God put a dream inside you, that he also gave you everything that you need in order to accomplish that dream. And if you'll just keep walking with him, if you'll keep in step with him, then nothing can stop you. As a matter of fact, even in your death, your dream can live on. Just like we celebrate today, Martin Luther King Jr., even though he is no longer here with us on earth, we can know that his dream is still a huge part of who we are. So don't let anybody stop your dream. Live it out every single day and know that because of what Jesus did, it's already won. You just have to stay in step and keep living the dream. Hope that you've had an awesome day, and I will talk to you all very soon. Deuces. Say you.